good youtube is this your boy tap money coming back at you you see i got the gears changed up again i went back to 3829 i hooked the esc the sidewinder 8 esc back up to the laptop and i turned down my brakes a little bit actually i put them back to um default which is 50 and um turned up my start and punch just a little bit and this is where i'm at no cogging at all Look at that beast now the second problem i was having was when i would give it gas and then go to break it would slam into reverse i fixed that for all the brothers that don't know it's a red light on your esc and a green light on your esc all right now if you can look here when i hit the when i hit the gas forward the green light blinker when I hit it in reverse, the red light went. The red light. All right, now to calibrate your ESC so your brakes and everything works properly, you have to have your wires like this. Basically, the ESC works in reverse, not in normal. All right? So I changed my wires around. And I made sure on my controller that it was in reverse when I changed them around. And I calibrated the, in because I couldn't calibrate the ESC because when I hit it forward, I was getting the red light. And when I was hitting it in reverse, I was getting the green light. So it was backwards. So I changed that around and I, I was able to calibrate the ESC after that real good. And now I have brakes as I show you. Take it up. Yeah, brakes. Yeah, and I got the brakes at the 75%. Thanks to my good friend Dan P. I saw his video on um, Castle Link setup. Yeah, nice. Brakes. And reverse. That's reverse. Oh. That's just tapping it, look. No cogging at all. 2938 gear. My one. No cogging at all. I ain't tap money, quick update. I got some other stuff I'm gonna show you all, but I'm gonna wait till they come in. But um we're gonna keep working on this XR8, this power racing XR8, man. I really like it a lot. It's coming out nice. I got the 6.5 bullet connectors on it now. And uh, Our House 21, uh, shout out to you, brother. That was a good idea. Thank you for that. They do work way better than the Dean's connectors. It's a lot more connectors to connect, but it's more stable and sturdy and strong. So anybody that's working with Dean's, you know, you can change out to the 6.5 bullet connectors and you have a better result as long as your soldering is good up in the line up inside of the um the bullet connectors you gotta make sure that bead come out the back there all right and other than that you see the lime green marks i was i scuffed up the motor like a dum-dum so i had a marker and i thought it was the same color green and i tapped the scuff marks with the permanent marker and now it's lime green marks <laughs> so i don't know but maybe i'll take the the marker and just go lime green mark little dots all over it you know what i mean or get a fan that's probably what i wind up doing getting a fan but um it don't get hot usually with this gearing after i done revved it up a couple of times real high like that the motor's hot. The mesh is right. Yeah, I got a lot of play in there. I guess I can have a little bit more, but my pinion gear is loose because I got to get my um, grub screw to stay down on the shaft of the motor real good. It's not sticking to the motor. I don't have no um, 
Loctite on the grub screw just yet. I know I'm gonna have to wind up putting Loctite on it. I hate doing that because every time I do it, it messes up my pinion gear some kind of way. But um, I'm gonna get a little torch, a little butane torch just for the pinion gear. So when I go to take it off, it um come off real easy. I won't strip that out no more than what it already is. But I think I just got to find a grub screw. I think I got a grub screw that'll fit down in there good. And I just put a drip of um just a dab of thread lock on it and it should hold. Let it sit overnight and it should hold. But I just wanted to show all the brothers, thank you for all the comments. Thank you for all the help. I got it fixed and working right. I'm waiting on my um my front diff spool whatever you want to call it to come in locked I sent that out to custom fast rc shot you out brian I'm waiting for that to come in so i can um get this baby put back together and get her on the road for y'all before it starts snowing get a little running you know testing tune running with her this car is called finish line because of the body so this is finish line. I do have a Autobot sticker. Yeah, and put that at the bottom down here somewhere. So finish line will be an Autobot. Badass, right? But that's where I'm working at. I even made a connector for my Venom charger for so I can charge these batteries. See that? Soldered up some long bullet connectors for the batteries. I didn't have a connector for that, so that's done now. So I can charge these batteries up good. But I just wanted to share that. Make sure that red light is reversed and the green light is forward. And your wires are set up like this for the castle creations. And turn up your start power. And punch a little bit if you're running big gears. That should give you enough power. But you got to make sure you got the cat pack and stuff. You see, I got the glitch buster on there for my steering. Even though it's still kind of fast, but I don't lose no power. And I like that. But, um, that's the XR8. I know I, in the other video I said XR3 like a dodo. This is the XR8, man. Almost done. No cogging. And that's just rear wheel drive right now. This is a beast. My mesh sound like it's a little too tight. Just a little too tight. But you hear that? I guess that's cool. They metal gear, so they gonna make some kind of noise. And then the motor is brushless. And, you know, it's, it's going to do something. It's going to make some noise. You expect it to cog just a little bit because of the four pole, the four magnets on the inside of the motor, but not like it was. But shout out to all my subscribers. Shout out to all my homies. Thanks for all the information and tap money. Be back at you real soon with some more updates. I'll let your boy. One love.